Did you know 30 to 40% of the U.S. food supply is estimated to be wasted? That adds up to 63 million tons of U.S. food and 6 million tons of California food wasted per year. 94% of that food waste ends up in landfills or incinerators, contributing to 8% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So much food gets tossed, but together, we can take steps to reduce food waste. Let's consider two great options, food recovery and food upcycling. Food recovery means obtaining edible food before it goes to waste. From places like produce markets, grocery stores, restaurants, or dining facilities, and distributing it to local food programs. Food upcycling is the reuse of food or food byproducts to create new ways of feeding people and animals and minimizing food waste. To get recovery and upcycling tips, as well as learn about food byproducts being utilized for industrial uses and composting, let's take a look at the United States Environmental Protection Agency Food Recovery Hierarchy. It offers a few steps we can take to reduce the amount of food that ends up in landfills and prioritizes them from top to bottom. The main step you can take starts with reducing the amount of food you buy. When making a shopping list, prevent waste by thinking about what you're buying and when you plan to prepare the food. You can also donate food to your local food bank and help families in need. Animals can benefit too. For example, food processing facilities can upcycle food products to feed animals. Additional food recovery methods include upcycling commercial food waste. One example of this is called rendering. Americans eat only 50% of an animal, and rendering is a process that breaks down the remaining animal byproducts into fats and proteins that are used in the manufacturing of a variety of products. These products include animal feed, fertilizers, personal care items, and industrial uses. You can also compost your food waste scraps by combining them with other yard waste. To learn more about the U.S. EPA food recovery hierarchy, food upcycling, and how you can help reduce food waste, visit our website. Thanks for making a difference in your community and in our state.